you guys can't tell, it's a big giant Shamu. Big old Shamu. Doesn't quite look like one. But anyway, good morning guys. Day one officially at Warp Tour. Frankie got his press pass. So we are good to go. Hey! Making friends again, or seeing friends I should say. This looks like a giraffe. It does. But yeah, we play at 3.45 today, so it's actually one of the perfect sets, uh, perfect times. And what's even better is the fact that today is going to be the unveiling of what we're going to be doing with Coley. That's all I'm going to give you guys as far as a, uh, um, a hint. But it has to do with Coley and it has to do with our intro. I don't think I want to tell you guys what it is because I want to make sure you guys come to the show. I don't want it to be a surprise, but if you come to the shows, Definitely come, but if not, on the last day of Warp Tour, I will show you. That way, it's a little fair. I got a little lock for the bikes, so now those are secure. And then we don't lose our little dirt bikes. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know we have dirt bikes, we have dirt bikes. Calm before the storm. Look how peaceful those porta potties are. Dang, there's a lot of them today. I think, or it's that one. I don't know, it's one of these stages. That one, or that one. I literally have no idea. The first official day set list for the last day of Warp Tour. Coley and Hundo are side hustling this year, making breakfast sandwiches for anyone walks around. No, he's not. You just showed the trailer. <laughs> Everyone right there. Everyone who walks, we swear the right <laughs> Actually, it's just for Frankie. Is no, that what it is? For sale. That's what I'm saying. Behind bus full boop. <laughs> Follow your nose. Fancy schmancy. I wanted to show you guys something because I was super excited about this. I've been kind of getting some things together. And I know a little while back I talked about how I wanted to potentially sell my photos that I've been taking. So I've been getting them printed out kind of in bulk. And then some of them I'm actually putting in frames. And guess what? I think I'm actually going to start selling them, so I'm really excited. But I just kind of wanted to show you what ones I've been framing, uh, the frames that I found, and see if you guys like them. Because it's going to be like a fun little like side silly project for me because I'm, I really enjoy it. And I really love uh, uh, editing and I love you know creating videos and stuff like that. So I feel like this is kind of a good little outlet thing for me, especially if I'm going to do some traveling on my own this summer without Charles. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I've done. Obviously this is the big boy. This is the 11 by 14 that I got put into a frame. And then I have this one. This is an 11 by 14 as well. And then I found some cool frames here with... I love this photo. I don't know why. It's like one of my favorites of the post office. I just think it's such a cool photo. Um, I found this really awesome frame too. And then I did the Amboy School in the brown. Which I'm not sure I love it in this. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think I have some other photos that I want to maybe potentially put in that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer options to either, you know, just get the print. Or if you want the entire frame, you can have the print and the frame. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a fun little, like I said, a fun little side project to keep me busy and to kind of keep my like artistic side flowing, I guess you could say. All right, so this is why I already enjoy this thing. This is super far away and it's pretty awesome. I got to show it to you. My little portable dirt bike. Okay, look at this. This is so cool. I think it's just a giant train set. That's so cool though. Yeah, most definitely a train set. It's got a graveyard and everything. Oh, I can definitely hear the show has started. I can definitely hear it. Letting the dogs outside, I went to go grab the hose because I'm spraying off some of our carpets, trying to get this puppy smell out of them. And this little guy right here jumped on my hand, it scared me because I didn't know what it was at first. But look at it, look how cute. Ready? Is he not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Little baby frog, he's so tiny. The reason why I have been filming a lot right now is because. It's kind of funny, Danny and I are kind of having little panic attacks because we're playing a song we haven't really necessarily rehearsed. 
I mean, we all know it, but we haven't necessarily rehearsed it. Rehearsed it. We kind of wanted to just do this for fun, you know, like as as if like 20,000 people, you know, isn't enough stress as it is. But I've just been running through things over and over in my head just to make sure my brain is completely wrapped around it. But this is nerve-wracking. I haven't been this nervous, honestly, for a show in I think ever. I mean, I, it sounds stupid. I don't I don't normally get nervous for shows. This is a big one. Actually, the last time I was ever nervous at playing a show was probably either the hometown shows or my very first show, which was like nine years ago. So, it's kind of, or eight years ago, whatever it was, a long time ago. I've been trying to venture off into the crowd the last few hours, but the problem is it's so busy back there. Security is not letting us kind of wander around too much like before. So, it's kind of annoying me. So, I've just been kind of chilling over here and just hanging out kind of contemplating things, trying to figure it all out. I'm gonna try and get a quick little run in because Charles is about to go on stage and they're actually going to be streaming it live on the Warp Tour website. So I wanna go get a, like a really short, quick run, get back here so I can go watch them play because it's like their first time playing, you know, on Warp Tour in uh, two years. Okay, just got back from the world's quickest run. So I gotta log on to Fans Warp Tour. All right, they're up next. We got one minute away. Well, a minute and 35 seconds. Oh, this is dirty. This is really dirty. All right, moment of truth. We got Steven, we got Brittany over here. They came out to hang out. Orange County represent right there. There's Frank. Everyone's new favorite person, Frank. Uh, we're going on stage. It's gonna be an interesting one. I think we'll do good. I think it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Four, three, two, one. What? I don't think you're be filming. I'm gonna <laughs> Look at that insane crowd! Oh my god! a little bad but I know they're killing it right now but I have no idea what's going on with this connection well it appears as though there's something going on with the live streaming and um, I can't get it to play so it's like stuck on this split tree here if you can see it the San Diego area tomorrow make sure you go and see them at the San Diego Warp Tour it's gonna be at the SDCCU stadium lot so go give them some love yesterday I forgot to show you all the merch that I really enjoyed this is my new favorite shirt right here it's completely black but it's got this awesome we the Kings logo patch which is actually embroidered on there did I say it right for the embroidered? embroidered embroidered are the we the Kings Louie 
It looks almost like the Blair Witch, but. <laughs> and then we got this hoodie, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then this is probably my favorite shirt that we've ever done with We the Kings, Punk Rock Summer Camp. This was Frankie's idea. This was also Frankie's idea. That was not my idea. Uh, and then I showed you guys this one over here, which is my favorite one too. Frank and I were just discussing how crazy day one is and that the fact is that we are batting 1,000 right now as far as that we're one for one with that good shows. Yep. Baseball, baseball terms there, Frankie. Yeah, we made a goal. Yeah, we, we sports. made a home run. Go sports. Yes. I think we shot a bullseye today. Yep. What's cool about Warped Tour is that they always have vegan and vegetarian stuff. So I got a green star. I'm allowed. If you don't have a green star, you can't do it, right? No, they'll stop. No, actually, they will stop you. From yeah, so I tried that one time and they did not like me. What? Uh, no, I'm <laughs> sitting on let's it. Let's see it. You can't look. There's a Charles toilet. Wait, let me see your new hair. Huh? No. Come on, you gotta unroll. Uh, My hair's not done. I got the got cool. The plat, he went, uh, Adam Levine. Yeah, he's going great. No, Shoot, <laughs> yeah, it's fine, bro. Now for it. You'll see it. You'll see it later. Really can't be comfortable. Yeah, no, this can't be comfortable. Please, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> so Trav's friend is kind of helping out right now and seeing what happens. Oh, oh and he survived. A little Get yeah, it's a little scary. I can't believe you did it. Good old Jakey's doing it now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. I thought he wanted to get a drive with him. <laughs> Monster Moto is probably very, very happy right now. Ali's gonna yell at us all for not wearing helmets. Hey! Well, guys, it is now time to pack up. Packing everything up. Pack up. Sorry, watching everybody pack up for me. I was helping, and then I stopped. I was, then I stopped. Uh oh. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Day one of Warp Tour, definitely history books. We have, uh, we're actually, where are we going? We can't, we're going somewhere else. San Diego. This one was sold out, and supposedly the next few have been sold out, which is insane. You saw the crowd. I am going to say goodnight to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and I will see you tomorrow as always. I'm gonna put shoes on. Sold out. Okay, guys, bye.